Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me again today. Today I have got this little acetate box. It's one of our clear treat boxes from the annual catalogue. Uh, I think we sometimes forget that we've got these lovely things in the annual catalogue, but they are there. They're there for using. Um, let me just show you what we've got in the way of packaging. Uh, so we've got baker's boxes, treat bags, copper tins, uh, various cellophane bags, the card box, the tiny treat boxes, which is what I'm using, um, the pillow boxes, mini pizza boxes and the mini shipping boxes, all brilliant things to use for quick packaging. Um, this I'm not actually using for packaging and I honestly don't know how it's going to be the best way to show you what it is. Um, I'm wondering if I turn my lights off. No, that's not going to do it. Um, so, let me show you what it is instead. So, it's one of the little treat boxes and inside I've got a um, battery-powered tea light. I've lined the box with standard vellum cardstock. Uh, it's not the coloured cards uh, vellum, it's the standard vellum. And I've put silhouettes from the Snow Globe Scenes dies, which is the pack that goes with the Still Scenes stamp set. Um, and I've just put those in, in silhouette and then you can have these uh, on your um, window ledge or up your staircase, something like that, so that when, they're, when it's dark you can see them... Um, all showing off the little silhouette. So I thought I would show you how I have made it. Um, I will just take this out and turn the battery off just to save the battery for later. So when you get the, you can see I've done the die cutting, when you get the, the boxes they come flat packed and they look a bit milky. Uh, that's because they've got a protective sheet. So you need to take that off before you start. So just like the mercury acetate sheets that we've got in the autumn winter catalog, you're taking that same protection off. And then I tend to just squish it the other way, squishing obviously being a technical phrase. Make sure you can get the side flaps in and get those square, then get the flap, the crease at the back sorted out and I kind of push everything further than it needs to go uh, get the sides sorted out and the front now the front goes in first and then the sides and then the back but you do want to make sure that everything is well creased first so you've got your cutaway here this is your front pop in the two side pieces so they clip under the straight edge and then just feed the back piece in under there as well. And then that keeps everything together like that. So you get a nice flat base. And that is your basic acetate box. Now I have already cut two pieces of vellum uh, and I've cut it at two inches tall by six inches wide and scored on the two inch and four inch mark. The first thing I'm going to do is grab my snips and just take a, a hair of a smidge off both of the ends. This will just make everything sit a little neater, but don't do this until you've done your scoring. Obviously you could do this on your trimmer. Do remember that we've got the new trimmer available now, so pop over to my online store to grab that. Uh, but yes, so you want to do your scoring first because otherwise it won't be in the right place. And what you're trying to do is shorten the um, the two end pieces, not the middle. But you're literally taking tiny little pieces off. Uh, you don't want to take huge, great bits, just tiny little smidges. So that's those. And then just crease on your score lines so that they are going in the right direction. Don't score too hard on your vellum or you will crack your vellum. Right, so one of these is going to go round. 
So one piece goes round and one piece goes across the bottom and up and over. So just decide which you're going to do. I have cut the church, the deer. So I've got the deer, the two pieces for the church, we, which we will be sticking together. The trees, which you do want to cut a bit short. So we'll be cutting those off and the polar bears. So all of the little bits that go inside the snow globe, you want as silhouettes. So I've used basic black cardstock and you want those um, pre-cut. Then to stick the church together, I'm just going to put a couple of blobs if my adhesive would like to flow. Thank you. So a couple of little bits of adhesive on that and then very carefully you're going to line up the roof so just line up the roof line and then make sure that it's square to the base and then you can press it down and you are going to want to trim off the bit that is a little bit so there's this bit here which is a little bit proud you want to get rid of that, otherwise it's slightly longer than two inches. So just trim that away and then that will fit nicely on your piece of vellum. Um, and again, we want to trim these down. So let's find a, a ruler. So the top of our tree wants to be at the two inch mark. And actually, that's not too bad. I did trim it. I had it so that it was slightly over the edge of the, let me show you what I mean. So if I slip this back into the die, can you see I had my piece of card was a bit short and it's actually worked out perfectly. Now you will need to trim the edges of your tree, but we'll come on to that in a moment. The others are just easy. Oh, except I think I need to trim down the bottom of my deer as well. Let me just check. No, we are just be okay, I think. Uh, again, I might have had it just on the edge of the of the black cardstock. Right, so if I'm going to have this as my wrap round, I'm going to have the church at the front. So let's just add some glue to the back of my church. Do make sure you get a little bit of glue on that cross on the top because that is very fine and you do want that to be stuck otherwise you might end up damaging it and we don't want a damaged spire so just add a little bit of glue you don't need to go mad and try not to get it on your fingers while you're holding it and then just pop it down I like to try and line it up with my grid paper and just make sure that it's as near to central and square as you can get it and then just push from the back and it's quite useful to get your bone folder and make sure that you really press it down now it doesn't matter that you can see the adhesive through because this is the inside so that's our church then I like to have my deer this side so it's facing the front it's just the way I go so again we just want little bits of glue on if there are any loose bits like the leg or the horns, antlers, I suppose, as it's a deer, just make sure you get a little bit of adhesive on those so they don't catch. And then glue across the bottom. And again, carefully line up. And pop that down and it's just just within the two inch mark so do be careful you may need to just trim the bottom off but that's that I will press it down in a moment and then the, the polar bears these are quite easy to adhere because they're a solid image and you want to get the mama bear as far back as you possibly can and then the baby bear I 
think I might need to open a new pot of glue. But the baby bear you want as near to the fold as possible so that you can fit them both in. There we go. And then turn over and make sure you have got those properly stuck down. And then grab your box, fold your two ends in and pop that in there. And because we've trimmed a little bit off the two ends, it fits in there really nice and snugly. Um, if you hadn't taken these ends off, it would be a bit bowed. And then finally, our trees, you want to have those going across your final piece of vellum. And again, just make sure that you're not too tall. Uh, I might trim a tiny weeny tweeny bit off the bottom. Just a hair of a smidge more than I already had. And then again, these are fairly simple to adhere because they are a larger solid image. And again, you want to make sure it's down properly and then we are going to need to trim the very edges off but again just pop that down pop our glue away because we don't need that anymore just press your glue down and then trim away the edges so that they don't catch and then grab your box, pop the bottom in, okay, I'm going to need to trim a little bit more off here. This is one of those things where you do need to just try it and if it's not plain ball, just trim a bit off. That's better. So pop that in, get it into the corners, just check the height. Yep, that's fine. Got a little bit there that I don't want stuck to the acetate. There we go. Pop your tea light in, turn it on, and then you want this to go behind the church. So it's behind the vellum. Uh, otherwise it might catch on the, the top of the vellum and not look terribly attractive. And there you have it. As I say, it's not easy to see with the lights on, but it glows beautifully in uh, when it's dark. And is a really nice, different way to use your trick boxes. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't already subscribe, please click the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Um, and also remember that I am doing a giveaway for a Stamparatus, so please share either a Facebook post, a YouTube post, a blog post um, to get one entry. These, this is for people in the UK. I'm not allowed to give product outside of the UK. It's my arrangement with Stamping Up. So if you're in the UK, do any of those or you get an entry for each of those that you do. Um, up to a maximum of three, so don't share more than three. Um, and then if you purchase and use the host code, you will get five entries for each order that you place. So for every order, you get five, um, five cracks at winning the Stamparatus new inbox. I haven't opened the box or anything. Anyway, thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you do, um, as I say, give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments below. And do remember, if you're sharing, to use the word shared with a D uh, so that I can find them. Thank you very much indeed, and I look forward to seeing you soon.